I teach um, 109 together and it's a uh, med surge course in the nursing program and we use it quite a bit and um, we build it into classroom time, we build it into discussion time because we find it is a very effective assessment tool. Meaning you can, um, with this device, check what your student's understanding is of the content you've just taught. And it's an instant response to it. Uh, what we love about it is you put a question on the board and the students anonymously answer it. So it's not putting anybody on the spot for being dumb and not knowing the right answer. That's what they're always afraid of. Or they look around the room and say, oh, who's answering A, who's answering B? This is anonymous and then immediately after the question and after the students respond, after the timer ends, we, uh, it puts up a graph and you can see how many students answered correctly and how, what other answers they took. So we find it a very powerful thing because we can then clarify their thinking. You can say the correct answer is B, but okay, six people took A, let's talk about that. Um, I've used iClipper in my class to prepare for examinations and it's really helped the students understand how I write questions. It's also helped me understand if I'm writing a question that isn't very valid and I can correct my format for the questioning. I also like it because the students become engaged in the learning process a little bit more. They listen better because they know they're going to be quizzed momentarily and so they get very excited about using it. When I bring iClicker to class they say, oh cool, it's iClicker. You're going to always have students that don't necessarily like to be called up on so the iClickers allows everyone to participate anonymously, you know, so that, that way you're every, you have active participation from everyone because of that tool. I think you have to have the mentality with anything that you use that's out of the norm of just the straight lecturing, you have to say, the fear is, do I have the time in my lecture to devote to something like that? And we built, we've built it in and we find that it doesn't, it doesn't have to be 30 questions. It can be five. It can be just a little checkpoint um, a couple times. You don't have to put it all in one concentrated area. Uh, we've even used it in our support course for our courses just again to rehearse this kind of questioning to see where their thinking is. Um, I think we can convince faculty of the powerful use of it once they try it. It's kind of, try it, you'll see. And the students really like it. We use it very heavily in semester three. Because this is a technological generation, so anytime they can have something in their hands that they can manipulate, it'll keep them alert and attentive. So it's, it's a great tool.